Hello, hi. Once again, this is your truly Clarice Talka for Lifestyle, Zena, and I would like to welcome you to the part three of this series, Feelings. You know, I've met with some people whom I have shared the couch with and when I say the couch okay a figurative a symbolic couch meaning who also have talked with psychiatrists and psychologists and some therapists we would joke about it especially this one a funny funny man batang bata <laughs> He's 55 years old, pero siya e batang bata, talagang young at heart. Um, we would really joke about our time when we had um, talked with psychiatrists. Uh, I'm not making fun of psychiatrists. Actually, um, it's the opposite. I would like to um, correct myself. I stand here humbled and corrected because I change my views about the people who talk to psychiatrists earned I earned that couch because once upon a time I said I love you too many times especially to an unseen and virtually an unknown um, character for sure it landed me on, on that symbolic couch you know um, you ma pina prescribe the medicines you know? like you would kid each other oh eh, may ADHD ka na ba ngayon alam mo nag ano po nag ano pa kami nag exchange pa kami ng mga symptoms eh alam mo natutulala ako minsan does, does it mean depressed na din ako or <laughs> or when one of us you know couldn't get a good night's sleep Oh, no, talaga, we would jokingly yearn for um, for the psychiatrist to come over. So we would get prescribed by you know, all sorts of anti antidepressant, anti psychotic, anti anti whatever. <laughs> but you know what? It's really a serious matter, and I am just thanking God that I had that opportunity. Because there are lots and lots of consequences worse than that. And I would like to say thank you that I was given a chance talaga to, um, to pause and consider the effects of my behavior. Thinking about it now, God has been so fair and yet so compassionate. I was spared from years and years of regrets and pain damages that couldn't be overcome just by mere apologies of course it wasn't pleasant at that time be questioned by psychiatrists about my motives about my behavior about my about lots of things about my belief why do i believe that such and such you know my assumptions presumptions all of my belief system, di ba? Um, saan ang gagaling yon? So talagang no stone was left unturned para mabigyan ng um, explanation yung um, mga decisions ko before. Finally, fast forward, you know, saying I love you and entering into the big C commitment, it's so much a big deal. So much big deal that if my own daughters would come to me for advice about the affairs of their heart or, you know, if their future is at stake, I thank God that I have the necessary experience and the wisdom to share with them the lessons that I've learned. Declaring love to someone before we really get to know each other personally spending um, some time talaga in the physical realm not in the wishful thinking or not during some romantic contemplations on my own on my own or with this person it's not the same thing diba there's nothing like tough times there's nothing like fire to weed away the best mask we put on the best foot forward it's natural that uh, the civility is dictated that in getting to know each other, syempre, we put our best foot forward. But it's really a cycle, stages. Because very, very soon, we cannot stray away from our spots. The leopards, 
cannot stay away from its parts. It's the same thing with us. I mean, really, the kind of fights we have with each other determines the kind of relationship we have. Um, I have the most horrible fights, of course, with my family, with my father, with my mother, with my brother, with my daughters. Just go grab it. Because we are intimately close together. It is not expected that I would have the kind of fight that I have with them, with acquaintances, with mere acquaintances. And you know what's funny? Uh, thinking about it now, yung nagkakademandahan, posible pa na hindi sila magkakakilala even though they are uh, having disputes eh. Um, just like traffic altercations. Nako, nakalagyan sa judiciary natin. Makikita mo, first time mo makilala, your car um, bumped against his. Natural. Magkakaroon ng traffic altercations. Even though feelings pa rin and pain uh, are involved, still hindi siya makakuantify as uh, um, personal in nature. Diba? Um, one good example is corporate disputes. Diba? Even though napakaraming tao na affected talaga and it can be so stressful and it can be so painful for both parties and their families. But no matter what the degree of pain is, it cannot be characterized as personal pa rin. So it's both personal and impersonal. It cannot be um, categorized as relationships go. Actually nga, mas magkakakilala pa yung mga abogado eh. Kasi sa mga kliyente, di ba? In this case, mas nagkakaroon pa nga ng interaction eh. Between the lawyers, hindi pa yung sa kliyente, hindi pa yung mga kliyente.